Hey guys, Seven Seven here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Quarantine series, which is the running title because I don't have an actual name for it. And it's kind of weird, kind of different. So uh, just sticking with this for now. If anybody like, actually like comes up with a good name, I guess we'll, we'll go with we'll go with something else. This is just the running title. But anyways, it's going to be a new uh, HRL season here, and it's going to be pretty mixy. Uh, we've got a lot of different track types in here. We've got ovals, TRS, some go-karts, and arena cross. Good mix of them. There's two go-karts in the schedule, four ovals, three TRSs, and three arena crosses as well. It's going to be a good mix of any of, of all these different track types. And kind of like we're going to kind of go off this to see what series we could do uh, before Infinite because there are still some, some series that we haven't really explored that we could do. And we have a few of those in here along with, I don't think we'll do another oval season in Halo 5, but you never know. Those are just more so tracks that work pretty well at this point that are filling out the schedule, I guess. Um, as far as like TRS, Go-Kart, Arena Cross goes, pretty much we're pretty much ready or could be ready within, I don't know, like a week's time. It wouldn't take very long to run a series for any of those three. And we have all three of those types in here. And of course, like with Go-Kart, already have a season schedule ready for that. Uh, for TRS, it wouldn't take long. We already have a few tracks made, but it wouldn't take long to fill out a season schedule TRS. Notoriously, quickest tracks to make doesn't doesn't take very long. Um, I mean, I guess if you want to go super hard with like alternate lines and balancing stuff out, but in general, making a TRS, not that much effort. Could be ready for that in a week. And Arena Cross, already have a few of those made and a lot easier to balance. Uh, opposed to super crosses, super crosses can take quite a while to balance, and you could spend a ton of time forging them, trying to perfect them. Whereas arena crosses, you can—I mean, you could do the same thing, but it shouldn't be as hard. I mean, they're shorter by nature, so uh, you should be able to go through that a lot more efficiently and and just quickly. Like all of these should not take as much time as their counterparts, like GK to GP, uh, TRS to—I don't know—like an actual rally cross track or arena cross to super cross. Like these should all take a, a bit less time, so should be easier to forge, easier to set up. And when we go through this series, we're just going to kind of, you know, gauge how it goes. We may end up doing series for all of these track types, so it may not end up mattering. Maybe maybe this will just determine like the order in which we do it. Um yeah, maybe that's what it'll end up doing. Uh we'll see. But it is to basically see how these series go, how well they race. We only got such a, you know, such a short experiment with go-kart, and we've only raced go-kart so much in the past. Same thing goes for Arena Cross, like we've raced it, but not a lot. And as far as TRS goes in Halo 5, completely unexplored territory there. Uh, we've maybe done like a test or two, but yeah, TRS has mostly been Halo 4. Been dormant for a long time, and we haven't really experimented with it that much in Halo 5 until now. So we'll see how it goes essentially looking forward to TRS a lot honestly to see how it goes um, I think it should race well I think these these should all race well but I don't know we'll see anyways uh, as far as that goes pretty much all I have to say about like the formation of the schedule rest of this video gonna be like format rules stuff like that because we're doing things a little bit differently there too uh, as far as like the format goes pretty much the same as oval season 2 as far as like the race nights goes um the format gets a little bit different when we get towards the later half of the schedule something a bit new but again as far as like just the actual race night itself pretty similar uh one thing we want to do and i haven't reflected this in the schedule yet but for the triple headers the two triple headers in there want to start those a little bit earlier uh, i would you know ideally like 30 minutes i'd settle for 15 but yeah like start those on time and start them earlier even if it's not like that much time i do think that 15 to 30 minutes could make a big difference for those and you know hopefully we won't have as many issues with those this season uh, we'll see how that goes and the triple headers will work like they did uh, last season as well with them being like their own little tournaments so we'll get into that in a sec uh, but yeah as far as like just race to race it's gonna be the same thing heats motos it's gonna be the same like times for those um, same amount of laps we are doing laps so pretty much like the same across the board the only thing for heats is we may switch out the random.org for this one. We may go off the season results and, and invert it uh, like we have in the past. So that might be what we do for heat ordering. But other than that, pretty much everything as far as like the actual race format, pretty much the same. Um, as far as the tournaments go, 
Uh, there's going to be two tournaments in the regular season. Uh, you see them there at week one, week three. And haven't come up with names for them yet, but the first one's going to be Skellige, Blaviken, Visima. And the third one, Eagle River, London, and... Uh, help me out here, Jared. Anyways, those will be the two tournaments. And it's going to work similarly to uh, like how it did in the Oval season, where it will give you those bonus points. Uh, now, in this in this season, those bonus points aren't going to be uh, as effective because there's a playoff reset. So we're going to do something a little bit differently. Uh, the way you could think about this is, honestly, it's pretty much going to be like a split up grand final is essentially how it'll run. Um, wanted to try try out the playoff format, see how it goes, um, see if it r works well. Mostly just wanted to do something different here is pretty much what it comes down to. Mostly just wanted to do something different because, you know, Halo 5, the Halo Infinite's coming this year. So, and uh, yeah, called it 2020. I don't remember who said it wasn't going to be 2020. All right, I called this like two years ago. La, 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 la. Anyways, um... Yeah, so we're going to do things a little bit differently with the playoff format. Basically, eight people. We have the round of eight. Round of four down here. Eight people going to qualify. Eight drivers going to qualify for that round of eight. And then after the round of eight, those top four drivers from the round of eight will make it to the round of four. And then they'll duke it out on those last two tracks. Oh, nice. My uh, my download started. They'll duke it out on those last two tracks and uh, and go for the championship. So you may think like, okay, what can you do to help out your chances going into the playoffs? Uh, or does it really just like reset for everybody? And how do you get in the top eight? Is there anything besides points? So top eight is going to go, the priority will be wins will get you in. So moto wins will get you in. Um, so if you're one of those drivers that doesn't show up uh, to enough races, maybe you have difficulties making all the races in the regular season, but you know you can make the playoffs. You can show up to those few races, and if you pull off a win or two, that could secure you uh, into the series. So, yeah, win and you're in. The other thing to it will be points. So, like, how we separate the people with the wins. Like, let's say, like, two drivers outside of the top ten, um, you know, both have two wins. Then it'll go by points. And let's be honest here. Like, practically the way it'll most likely work out is that... Um, like, it'll probably be, like, some drivers will make it in on the win. Um, but then, the, like, the last few spots will go to will go to like the points standing so I don't know if we're gonna have too many tiebreakers that would require a lot of different drivers winning which I just don't see happening I mean it could happen with TRS things are get crazy in that you never know um and like ovals too you never know like the the series that we have here it could we could see a decent amount of win variety this season but yeah like practically it'll probably come down to points for the most part maybe there'll be a driver or two that'll that'll really take advantage of the the win to get in but we'll, we'll see we'll see how that plays out but anyways that's what you got to do um the only way a win will not get you in the series is if again if that many people have wins and your points are bad which again it's a round of eight you know that have to be a lot of different winners so we'll see how that plays out uh anyways that's how you get into the round of eight now you could get some bonuses to help you out uh with the round of eight uh, round of four, I want the round of four to be like its own clean slate. So when you get to the round of four, those four drivers will be just all at the same points. They'll duke it out on those two tracks. Um, but as far as the round of eight goes, I, I think I wanted to add some bonuses in there. So each win will give you a bonus point going into each moto win, that is, will give you a bonus point uh, going into the round of eight. Not going to factor in the overalls here. Uh, if you win the tournaments, a tournament win will give you two bonus points going into it so that is the benefit there if you win one of the tournaments or somehow like both the tournaments you win motos it's going to make your uh your life a lot easier in that round of eight to get to the round of four once it gets to the round of four it'll be an even playing field uh but it'll make your round of eight life a lot easier hopefully and there will also be bonus points that you'll get for the regular season to help you get those playoff spots for the tournament wins as well so yeah tournament wins are just going to be like super helpful um but again, like those those points will help you get in if you if you need them. Uh, for the most part, if you're getting wins in tournaments, you'll probably be able to get in enough points anyways. But never know, different scenarios could work out. And again, once you get to the playoffs, it's gonna reset anyways. Or yeah, I mean pretty much just give you like the bonus points. So that's how it's gonna work. And like any questions on this format, let me know. I want to keep this video not too long, but yeah, any questions, let me know. Uh, 
again, think of it as like a split grand final is essentially what it's going to be like with a bit less uh, drivers as well. Um, and it's not going to be for like before this question gets asked, it's not going to be like round of four is literally four drivers. Round of eight is literally eight drivers. If you still want to race for fun to go for wins, you can. That's fine. No problem with that. If anything, it's the best time, right? Because you're going to have those other people like with the pressure on. And if you didn't make it, you can just you can just race and you can just race your race. You don't have to worry about anything. So it could even be better uh, that way. So uh, just because you don't qualify for the playoffs doesn't mean you can't race those races. You can still race them to go for wins, to go for experience, like whatever. Have fun. It doesn't matter. You can still race those. All good. Um, I, I guess like just keep in mind, uh, you know, the playoff drivers. Try not to like cheese them too hard. But if accidents happen, accidents happen. So it's just part of the part of the nature of like this format i guess um but yeah pretty much it any questions let me know and you know hopefully we can get i don't know if anybody has anyone interested network error god damn it <laughs> but if we could get some new people this season that would be cool too i think that it would be fun to you know get some full lobbies here and and TRS like these types of tracks could be good for some new drivers to like get used to everything you know it's not as intimidating as like some of the bigger gp tracks um, some of the bigger supercross tracks that can be take a lot of skill like some of those tracks are really difficult um, Hell even like the super cushion heavy Normal ovals that we race like Barvo and Chile and stuff like that can be really intimidating to a new driver uh, These tracks are pretty good pretty good mixes I think um, not only is there a good mix of like the different track types here But they're also a good mix in terms of like how much skill they take and, and how difficult these tracks are so um, Yeah, hopefully we can figure that out and looking forward to starting it up and should be a pretty fun season and you know last oval season was pretty good as far as like how impromptu it was a little bit more prep going into this one so hopefully this one can be pretty fun um and be something new to like enrich uh the halo 5 series before we get into infinite all right hope you guys enjoyed the video any questions let me know and see you next time